cheesecake, a pumpkin pie with cream cheese in it. I've never made this before, so we're going to see how it goes. I'm not sure what the ingredients are going to be yet, but you'll see as I add them. This is going to be my helper, Sam. Hey. So once we get everything together, we'll show you guys what's going on. Alright, so what you're going to need, just for hardware stuff, you're going to need a bowl to mix in. If you have like a KitchenAid mixer, that's kind of what this is. Like a big, uh, the huge thing that you just plug into the wall. And then you're definitely going to need one of these as a macro scraper. That's a patented name right there, so if you use it, you better give me a shout out. And then, uh, so we're just going to start adding stuff. What we're going to start with is about 600 grams of just regular canned pumpkin. Oh, also you're going to need a scale if you care about the macros. Oh dear. Five ninety nine. That's perfect. Kind of. All right. <coughs> so we're gonna keep just adding in all the wet ingredients. So what we have next is some vanilla extract. You can just find it like in a baking aisle or something at whatever store you go to. Yeah, five grams. This is how long it takes. I'm sure the macros are accurate, but you five grams is almost a three or ten calories. Five grams is like a teaspoon. Alright, what's next? Eggs. Two eggs. Usually comes to like a hundred grams of eggs. Ninety-five. It's ninety-six. Good. Not worth adding another one. Yeah. And then cream cheese. I haven't I've made this before, but I didn't add cream cheese, so I'm just got I got the store brand fat free cream cheese. The macros in this are five carbs, five protein, obviously zero fat. The Philadelphia brand is, Frank uses it, they don't have it at the store by me, but it's two carbs and three protein for like the same serving size for 30 grams. So, I mean, if you're really on low calories, then that might be a little, might be a better option for you. Alright, so it's four forty eight. Four forty eight is exactly sixteen ounces. Right? Four forty eight divided by one twelve is four. One twelve is four ounces. Yeah, wow. Yeah. That's exactly what it should be. Best math, best math I've ever seen you do. <laughs> Alright, now we're just gonna mix it up. All the wet ingredients. Forgot right. one. Forgot an ingredient. Thank this God. This is. <laughs> thank God you almost knocked it over. <laughs> what is it? Fat free evaporated milk, right? Fat free evaporated milk. It's ShopRite brand. Yeah. It's just like dry now. Then we're just gonna keep mixing all this together. Alright, so we just mixed all the wet ingredients and stuff together. So what we're gonna add is sweetener. This is just sucralose. You can buy like a big bag big bag of Splenda. This is just like the store brand. There's actually in one gram of this, there's not 0.9 carbs. So I weigh it. I mean you don't really use that much, it's only like 15 grams. Come on now, 18 grams. Alright, I'm gonna put, I'll do two scoops away, so this is just Diamantize Elite. <laughs> Alright, sixty grams. Alright, so if you guys want to see what I do to like track it all, this is just a recipe on my fitness pal, you can just add it and then like pick how many servings you want. I usually just make the whole thing, make it all one serving, 
weigh the total of it and then just divide by whatever the total is and make it like whatever decimal it is. Yeah, then I'm going to add spices. Here we got cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice, so. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm just gonna mix it up like a shitload and put it up to like the fastest thing and just let it go for a little bit. I'm gonna put the mixture into this nine inch, right? Yeah, nine inch just like cooking. What do you call pie it? Pie pan. Pie pan, nine inch pie pan. And I'm gonna spray it with pan, but I'm gonna weigh the pan. Two grams. So that's like two grams of fat. So spray the shit out of that. <laughs> We'll see how this goes. Gotta make sure you got your macro scraper. The most important thing in anyone's kitchen. For real. Damn, I don't know if this is even gonna fit. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, that thing's full <laughs> to the top. Like I said, I've never made this before. <laughs> that thing's really full. All right, I was gonna bake it tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna do it right now. If I go to sleep, one of my roommates will just take care of it. So I'm gonna put this up to 400. Nah. Sam, what do I usually bake it at? Uh, 350 for the first. Yeah, I'm gonna do 350 for the first, like, half hour. And then after that, I'll do, I'll put it down to, like, 200 or 250 and cook it for another 90 minutes. Just so, like, it doesn't really form a crust and it doesn't get, like, too hard on top. And the whole thing just kind of bakes through, like, a cheesecake should be, or, like, a pumpkin pie. Uh, another good idea is just kind of take your macro scraper and kind of go around the rim in a couple of circles just to make sure it's even. Do it in the middle a couple of times if you need to, but this is pretty liquidy, so it's kind of already leavened. Hell yeah. Oh boy. There was a hair in it, but the oven's preheated and we're going to go now. Did you take the hair out? Yes, the hair is out. Did you lose any macros on the hair? Nope. I weighed it before and after. You better not spill that. Alright, we'll see. We'll see if it overflows or not. It's gonna be real bad if it does. You really use that thing? Alright. Tip. Whenever you're making something, like a big dish or something like that, you gotta make sure you weigh the container that you're putting it in. Because I've weighed that before. It's like 900 or something grams, just like the tin itself. So that when you're done cooking it and you let it cool, you can weigh it again and then just subtract the difference to get the total weight of like the cake or whatever you're making. Alright guys, Wednesday morning and the cake is done. One of my roommates finished it for me because I went to sleep around, around 11 or so, so here's what it looks like. It's really like, it's really heavy, really uh, like dense and that cream cheese really like added a lot of volume to it. I think what the cooking time was was 60 minutes at like 350 and then another 60 minutes at about 200. I'll ask what, I'll ask my roommate later when he wakes up what it was and I'll post it on the screen or something. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna weigh it quick and then I'm gonna put it just like onto a plate and see what it looks like and I'll show you guys. Alright, so there you have it. So it looks like it's pretty big, pretty tall. So yeah, I'll probably eat some of it later and I'll put it at the end of this video just so you guys know if it's any good or not. Damn, it's 
things come into it. I want like a six. That's what I added to my macro. Yeah, I'll just a small piece. It's all done, ready to eat it. This big piece right here. Damn, that looks professional. <laughs> look at that, that's gonna be the thumbnail. Damn, this thing looks mad good. Yeah, it does. I'll tell you guys what the macros are in it too. Go ahead, try it. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's really good. Really? Way better with the green cheese. Damn, I'm pumped yeah, it. It's it. really good. All right, I'll try it. Oh wow, man! Really? Way better. That good? Yeah. And the other one was good, but did it was still more, like flat. Did you add more circles too? Yeah, it did actually. Yeah. Damn. Oh wow! Dude, it's like cheesecake. It's like damn, that's cheesecake. awesome. <laughs> it's like it's like cheesecake, like pumpkin flavored cheesecake. Yeah. But it's not really like super super heavy, like cheesecake is, right? Yeah. It's like light, but it's like really, really good. Damn, definitely recommend it. Yeah. Alright guys, so this piece right here, that was about, of the total cake, the total cake weighed 1150 grams, and this came to 0.133 of the entire cake, and the calories for it are 197 calories, 2.1 grams of fat, 22.2 carbs and 20.6 protein. So the protein to carb ratio is pretty much like one to one. So that's what I've been, that was what I really wanted just to like, because my carbs are at 250 and my protein's at 250, so it's like pretty much perfect for my macros. You guys can definitely change the recipe a little bit for your macros. But I'll put the recipe also in the description box so you guys can check it out. And if you try it, definitely know what you think of it. And don't forget to like and comment this video, and we'll see you in the next one. That's what?